Welcome to Mike FM 105.1. Multiculturalism at its best. Mike FM. Thank you for joining us on MG Live. I'm Marie Griffith. Let's welcome author of That's Why I Married You, Chana Leviton. Good day, young lady. Hi, Marie. Good morning. You know, when we meet a guy and I've done stories on how certain body odor attracts, you know, opposite Uh sexes, uh but I could never understand. And I think your book is the closest I've come to it. I could never understand how does an attraction where there's butterflies in your stomach, where you just want to hear his voice and you go crazy, where the guy can't concentrate until he sees her. (laughs) And then they get married, and they can't stand each other. What <laughs> happens, Chana? <laughs> well, there's a few things. Like my first book, which is entitled I Only Want to Get Married Once, discusses the initial infatuation in a relationship. That initial infatuation really cannot last more than two years, three years max. So when you're dating, you're obviously looking for something deeper than just the attraction. You're looking for shared values. You're looking for respect and trust and good communication, all of those things. Now, if there's something significant in that attraction, because the truth is we could be very superficial and throughout the day have a, a chemistry with 10 different people in one day. But if there's something deeper, then what's going on underneath the surface is what, what I call a promise for completion. The word completion has a bad rap today because people think of completion as, oh, I can't stand on my own two feet. I have to get married to do that. That's not what completion is. Completion is I can stand on my own two feet and there are parts of myself that I can only access in that powerful relationship of marriage. So when we see this potential of who we can be throughout our marriage and this person we're dating brings up that potential, subconsciously, that's really what's fueling the attraction. Talk to me a little bit, China, about the theory that, that girls pass around when we chat. You talked about the infatuation, which lasts up to three years, and I agree 100%. Then the love, it's still there, but it sort of changes, right? It's like in, in lanes on a highway. You're in the fast lane with the infatuation for those two to three years. Then you put your blinker on and you go into the middle lane. You slow down a bit. <laughs> right. Well... You know what? You know what's going on is that infatuation is effortless. We don't have to try to get infatuated. It just hits us in the face. Yeah, it's a chemical thing. It is, it is. Yeah, there's a chemical phenolithylamide yeah. that is emitted in our system. We don't need to eat or sleep. And But like any chemical, any drug, it wears off. Like we just get a spark. We get that glimpse of, 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 of wow, you know, this excitement. But it's effortless. Real love takes some effort. It does. But you know what, Marie? In our effortless society, everyone wants you know instant gratification without trying. Something is not going to change. And that is, if you want to be an athlete, if you want to be in shape, you have to go to the gym. You can't just take a pill, right? And if you want to be professionally successful, you have to go to school. You have to put the hours in. So if we want something real in life, we need to make some effort. And the same is true in a relationship. Uh, You know, again, I'm not, uh, we don't have much time. It's too bad. I'm going to have to bring you on again, if you don't mind. I love it. Because love, let's interpret love on the next show me and you do, okay? Yeah, that's Uh, great. Because I think sometimes I had a girlfriend who just had a total misunderstanding. Mm. Uh, uh, Love is not those butterflies in your stomach. That's still the infatuation stage. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, And there's a difference between love and lust. That's right. I must tell you, though, someone once told me that when that infatuation is gone, that's what used to push them to cheat. Mm -hmm. This guy just had to have that one to three year type relationship (laughs) every time. He used to say to me, well, you know, Marie, when the smell wears off of a new car, when you get Uh, in uh, and the leather and uh that, he goes, I trade it in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he'll never ever experience love. He's a, an infatuation addict. You know, he's a junkie. Yes. He's never going to appreciate and experience true love, which is the thing that we need as human beings. And Chana, bonding. Look at your wife mm. or your husbands, your soldiers in a very tough world. This is your best mm. buddy, man. That's this right. is the person who's uh-huh. got your back. That's right. And that's what we have to celebrate. It's incredible to have that experience going through life. Now, if you can just find me a man, Chana, I'll be glad to celebrate. (laughs) Sweetheart, give my audience some information where they can continue this chat and order your book. Okay, great. So so my book is available on Amazon. Again, it's entitled That's Why I Married You. Uh, I have a website, www.chanalevitan, C-H-A-N-A, chanalevitan.com. I'm on Facebook. I have a YouTube channel. 
Please, I'd, I'd love to hear from, from all of you, and I'm very passionate about getting this message out there. 105.1 Mike FM. We rock in different languages.